What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about sending signals to Telegram. So whenever the Gecko trading bot, whether it's a paper trader or a live Gecko makes a trade, you will get notified via Telegram what it's doing. So if it's if it's buying at a certain price, it'll tell you. If it's selling at a certain price, it'll tell you. And you can even query it to ask for the price. So let me show you how to do this. So first of all, I pretty much got some of the tutorial information right here from the Gecko forums. So setup of Telegram notifications. I think someone asked uh, Dirk B. He asked about this, and then uh, a couple of uh, forum members sent him different um, different tutorials on how to do this. Both of them are not in English, so they would they need a translation. So this one this one was translated from a European language to uh, and into English as I had done here. And this one was originally in Chinese and this got translated into English as well. So I'll have links to both of these tutorials for reference. But let me go ahead and show you how I did it. Pretty much following the instructions from both of these tutorials. So first thing you have to do is actually create a bot. Like well you have a gecko trading bot but that Gecko trading bot needs to interface with the Telegram bot because what it is is you want the Gecko trading bot to send out these signals to the Telegram bot so essentially you need to create a bot on Telegram and that's where this comes in the bot fodder so in Telegram there's this bot called bot fodder that lets you create all these other bots you literally have to click on this link right here and it'll bring you to bot fodder on telegram and from here you have to create a new bot in this case just type in slash new bot pretty much like I did here so I said slash dot and it just showed me the different options I have so from here I said slash new bot and then it said alright a new bot so and then just go through the process of conversing with bot fodder you have to give it a name so I did so after you give it a name you'll get a API key for this bot this API key will allow your Gecko bot to send signals to the Telegram bot and that's how it will work. So this API key here which I have blanked out but you can see there are a couple of digits here. This is what you will need to use. So you want to copy this API key here and then your config dash paper trader or whatever you call your config file for Gecko under the config dot Telegram bot section put in the API key in the token section like I did here. The next thing is, I'm not sure this is necessary, but I was reading from those two tutorials that you should add these two lines. You should add emit updates true and bot name, you can put in the name of your bot. So that's why I did here, added to those two lines. So after that, you have to install the node-telegram bot-api. So just go into terminal and type this in and install that API. You should get a message saying that you added 25 packages and was able to successfully add API for Node.js. So once that's done, all you have to do is just start Gecko. So once you start Gecko like I did here in command line mode using the config file that I just edited, I can then go into Telegram, open a private chat with this bot, and then just type in slash price. It tells me a price of the trade pair that is watching right now. So in this case it's watching USD to Ethereum and it's telling me the price of USD to Ethereum. Just that simple. It was a very easy to set up so I'm sure there's a lot of little, little different things that you can play around with but for now this is the basic setup, the instructions on how to set up Telegram with your Gecko trading bot. So if you guys watched my video about a couple of weeks ago, maybe a little over a week ago now about my Gecko game plan on what I wanted to do in terms of my current setup for Gecko and my goal of what I want to do. Believe it or not, I actually completed everything that I wanted to do. So I'm able to, I broke down, you know, the different things I want to do because my ultimate goal is, like I said here, be able to spin up as many geckos as I want on AWS or Google Cloud. And each of these geckos will be able to publish buy and sell signals via email, Telegram, Discord, which at this point I'm not going to work on Discord just because I have Telegram and email working. And I don't really think that's necessary. I don't even think they support it. Maybe there's a third party plugin that supports it. But right now, email, telegram, I think that's enough. So now that I have the knowledge to do all these things, now I really have to actually just execute and create as many of these geckos as possible. So there's definitely a more work for me involved. But in terms of the research and understanding how gecko works, the things I need to do, 
I'm basically done, so I'm pretty happy about this. So now that I'm done with what I want to do with Gecko, you guys should definitely let me know what you want to learn about Gecko, what I can show you guys how to set up so that I can build up a new list of things that I should be looking into. I mean, there are a couple optional tasks that I, I will probably look into a little further, like continue working on Japonicus just because genetic algorithm backtesting is a little more advanced than just basic brute force backtesting. And I'm sure there's a lot of advantages to that. But otherwise, definitely do let me know. Leave a comment down below so that let me know what you want to see, what you want to learn in terms of setting up Gecko. So that's my video for today, guys. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.